Well, hello again, everybody, and welcome back to the Independence Public Library's Maker Monday. As always, I am Mr. Alex, and today we are going to make something really cool. We're going to make, design, and build our own pulley system. You may not recognize what the word pulley means in the way that I've used it just now, but I'm almost sure that you know what I'm talking about if I were to show you. A pulley is des it's described as a contraption that we use to lift things consisting of a wheel with a single axle and grooves along the wheel that can hold a rope or string in place. Just like this. I'm sure you've probably seen something like this where you pull down on one side, it brings the rope up the other side. Oops. And you can use this contraption to lift things. If on one side of this string was a heavy box that we couldn't lift normally, but we tied it here, pull down on this string, and the box go, would go up. And so what we're going to make is a pulley system, um, which is going to be multiple pulleys connected together. But to get started, let's just make one pulley. So in order to get started what you're going to need are cardboard tubes from paper towels or if you've got craft tubes that are designed for working with that's even better. And you're going to take these and you're going to punch a hole across from each, each other all the way through on both of them. We're also going to need piece of cardboard that we're going to use as a base so that we can attach these two together. We're going to need an empty spool from ribbon that we're going to use to act as our wheel. And on it we're going to need string or twine or anything similar to a rope to use as our lifting rope right there. We're going to need a pencil to act as the axle between these two and we're going to need something for the string to lift. In this case, you could take a paper cup, or I took this little snow cone cup that I had lying around, and I punched holes in the sides of it, so I can tie a string in there and lift it up, and we're gonna hold this all together with tape. So let's get started. What you're gonna wanna do is take your base of cardboard, and you're going to set it up nicely right here. And where you're gonna start like I said, we're just going to make one of these pulleys to start with. So you're going to take your two cardboard tubes after they've got holes punched in them. We're going to set them probably on the far side right here because I imagine we're going to want to make... If we're making a bigger system, we're going to need all this space to put more of them. So figure out about where we want them to go. Line them up with each other. And then, taking a pencil to use as an axle, we're going to stick it through one of the tubes, like this. And then, we're going to put on our spool, also onto the pencil. And then put the end now through the final cardboard tube. And then just adjust it so it lines up the way you wanted it to. Kind of like this. We've got two structural cardboard tubes holding up the axle, with the spool on it, that we're then going to be able to route the string through. But we can't really do much lifting or moving with this right now because it's kind of flimsy. It's not attached to anything. This is where the tape comes in. Or if you have a helpful adult who wants to help you with, say, hot glue, that would work really, really well. But tape is fine, especially with cardboard. It's going to stick pretty nicely. And you're just going to take it, and you're going to tape all along the base. And continue to tape all the way along it until the structures are solid and in place. Uh, 
Okay, as you can see, I can lift it from one side, so that's pretty solid. The other one now, I need to tape. And maybe one or two more right here just for good measure. And the whole thing lifts. It's pretty sturdy on there for our purposes. So now we've got the base in place. We've got the actual structure that we're going to use for the pulley. Now we just need something to lift with. Like I said, we've got our string right here, where when we put it on here, we pull down, the string goes up. Kind of cool, but it's not really super interesting since it's not, we're not lifting anything. So what we're going to do is take the cup or snow cone or whatever you want to hold stuff in that has your hole punches through it, and you're going to slide your string all the way through. And then just like this, you are going to take it and you're going to tie it together. And I'm always fond of double knotting it when I do something like this, just to make sure it really isn't going anywhere. Perfect. So now we've got a single pulley. <laughs> and with it, Oops. We've got a single pulley that can lift up and down our little makeshift bucket. So now we can put something in there. Let's say a few marbles. One, two, three. And I pull and I lift it. Go up and down. But there you go, single pulley right there. But we're just getting started. So we're going to do the same thing, but we're going to fill the rest of this space. And we're going to alternate. We've got big ones right here. But what we're going to do now is for the next one, we're going to cut the tube in half. So we're instead going to have these. And then we're going to do the exact same thing. You know, put the axle in, the, the pencil and the spool and tape it all together. And then we're going to go back to the big ones. So I'll get that done real quick and then we'll take a look at the results. And there we go. We've got our new pulley system. We alternate going over the top, the first wheel, under the bottom, the second wheel, and then going back over the top to lift, oh, to lift our marbles until I spill them out. And you can make this go for as long as you want. You could make this, if your base is big enough, you could have the pulley system continue onwards. Or you could change the heights up even more. It's up to you. I'd say experiment, have fun, see how much you can carry, see how big your pulley system can become, and see how different it makes it trying to lift different things. Well, I'm glad that you were able to come by and stick around for another Maker Monday, and I hope that you'll have a wonderful rest of your day, and I hope you really enjoyed making it. Bye-bye, right. everyone. Marble came back. <laughs>